Hello friends, welcome to the zero tutorials for the big nuts. So let's uh, we are going to in this video we are going to get the SS token and the refresh token with the help of the Node.js. Let's start the tutorial. So here we have the Node.js auth. Open the terminal. So we have already opened the terminal. Okay. So we are going to run this and we have connect to the zero first. So it says something. Oops, something went wrong. So like error unauthorized client and the client is not enabled. So how to solve this issue? So this is the error that we have to solve it. Unauthorized client, unknown client or client ID, no, client not enabled. So how to solve this issue? So to solve this issue, we have a, uh, we have in this node, this example, we have a config.scopes. We haven't mentioned the scopes over here. So let's check the scopes, right? So let's check those here. Uh, let's go to the configuration and developer. So here I'm going to add the scopes login. Docs. So we are going to search with the scopes, right? So let's search for the scopes. Scopes, okay. So let's see what scopes we need to pass. Okay, so we have to create the auth, then we have to pass the scopes. So what are the scopes we need to pass here? No client ID is there, scopes is there. Okay, so open ID profile email or something. So let's add the or here. It's not showing here. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is not that one. Oops. So let's see scopes because here these are the scopes accounting transactions and all these things. So let's see, we're going to add all of this. Okay, so let's see what are the parameters that we need to pass. So open ID, then we need to pass open ID or uh, let me go with, let me connect with my any disk. I have the scopes. Give me a second. I have added that scopes over here. So this is the scope that we need to add in the code. So copy this and I'm going to add it over here, which is missing, I guess. So let me add this scopes over here. Okay. So this is added. No, no, no. Control Z. View. Word wrap. Scopes are added. Let's go with the client ID also at the same moment. Let's see the client ID. So where we are the client ID. So where, where is the client ID? Let's fetch the client ID. So where is the settings? Configurations. We have a client ID. Copy this. Add this into your here. Okay. Client ID is added. Let's move to the client secret. Generate that secret key. Copy this. Paste it over here. Don't use my. Okay. 
you need to create yourself is showing then please do that okay so i'm going to add the, this url also at the moment so you can see that we have all the details have been added let's restart the server so let's restart it okay let's reload this one localhost 500 thousand it's connect to the zero so it's authorizing my crm won't allow access you will get all the details in the console you will see that we have a token we have a access token we have the refresh token so this and we have a tenant id also at the moment so this is how we can get the data of the access token in node.js with the help of with the zero counting software thank you so much for watching this video have a great day in the next video we are going to use these tokens to create the contacts and the invoices with the help of node.js let's continue with the next one thank you so much for watching this video have a great day